Hi, Seneca High School parents. This is Mr. Brungard. I am the uh, PE teacher here at Seneca High School. Um, just some, so, uh, with quick information about um, how we're going to run our physical education classes um, this semester and, and maybe this year. So um, after talking to administration and listening to the administration's plans, um, our number one uh, focus on physical education to start the year is going to be a extended mask break. Um, it's going to be about at least 20 minutes to a half hour, maybe sometimes longer, of time to go outside, get your mask off, and breathe. Um, we think that's going to benefit the kids greatly to get outside, um, a break from the everyday uh, mask on all day. So it'll be that um, extra time to take that mask off. During that time, as of right now, we're going to spend a lot of that time at the track. Um, kids will get a um, two, three, four laps and walking um, with the mask off. Um, in order to have that mask off, they'll have to be socially distant from the people that they're walking with, which at least six feet. So we usually have one or two lanes open between each person walking. Um, but overall, um, that's our goal is to, uh, to give them that mask break. Um, the second half of PE class um, so far this year looks like an SST time. Since we had to shorten up our um, schedule in order to get the kids out of here at 110 for that early dismissal, um, we had to take SST out of the middle of the day. So the second half of PE, um, and it's the same for athletic PE, so both PE classes. Second half, after we go outside and get that mask break, um, we're going to come inside um, to the Irish Cove, which is down by Mr. Haynes's office, and we'll have a half hour to 40 minute SST or study hall time. During that time, that's um, they get to work on homework. Um, if we have approval from certain teachers that they need to get help, um, we can do that during that time as well. So that's kind of what things look like right now. Um, we are not passing out PE locks and lockers yet. We're not going to assign those just because we want to make sure um, that, that we're safe and, and we're going to follow along with um, the State Board of Education and, and all the public health departments uh, to make sure we're following all their rules um, for social distancing and things like that. So as of right now, um, the typical gameplay in PE uh, the badminton, pickleball, all those uh, typical PE games. We're going to put a hold on that um, just because of the risk of contact. We are going to try to get a couple, um, some games or some activities for the kids to do outside during that mass time, um, like bags and maybe some things like that that they can stay distant apart. Um, of course, we'll sanitize everything and keep everything clean in between each class and each person playing. So that's our goal right now. Um, if you ever have any questions for me, um, don't hesitate to contact me. You can call the school um, or you can email me at tbrungard at senecahs.org and I'll ask, answer any questions you have. Um, look forward to having your uh, kids in class this semester and once again feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Have a good day.